so I'm noticing my Google Maps over here isn't updating, although <laughs> the tiles, uh, the unpainted tiles are moving, um, so the GPS is working, and I'm noticing I, well, I have signal strength over here, I don't have 3G, and this has happened once before, so I'm going to actually, while I'm driving, uh, I'm going to reboot that screen, and that's accomplished by uh, pushing and holding down the two scroll wheels in the steering wheel, so I'm doing that now. Cheesecake Factory. Here we go. Not really the direction I'm going to head in, but now that I've entered a destination, you'll see my turn by turn shows up here. In half a mile, at exit number 26, for Weston, take the ramp right. At exit number 26, for Weston, take the ramp right. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is set my cruise control. So you know, if I if I push it in and there's no orange light here, cruise control is off. When I push it in, I get a little light, and the little indicator down below is white. In um, two miles, at exit number 2070, for Town Street, take the ramp right. Uh, now if I set this in a tab, you'll see the white marker moves up. A, you now it's right at my speed. Uh, now that I'm in cruise control. I'm going to uh, go ahead and actually cancel GPS here. I think that'll give you a good enough idea, um, just so it's not interrupting me. Simple tap. Um, so if, uh, the way cruise control works, Is uh, I can tap up or down, and and much like much like the the, the drive uh, stock has sort of a you know somewhat down and then sort of two clicks down sort of thing. The, the cruise control has a has a similar feel to it. So if I if I uh, tap up a little bit once, I get a one mile an hour increment. Tap down once, I get a one mile an hour decrement. If I push that stock away from me, it will cancel. If I uh, pull it towards me, it will resume. I'm in, a, I'm in enough traffic right now, I'm not going to uh, demonstrate that uh, stuff. And I'm not going to demonstrate this either, but if I um, push this stock uh, all the way up or all the way down, it, will, it's a, it is a three mile an hour increment. Actually, that's, it, and it does a pretty good job of doing that. It's not particularly jarring. Um, and I'll keep driving until I have a sufficiently little traffic around me. But much like normal cruise, if I tap it down twice, I'll drop two miles an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it all the way up should give me a three mile an hour increment. Watching my, my range over here, you'll notice that my projected range is rapidly uh, moving away from my rated range. And that was uh, just because we were on, uh, just on a hill. Hilly terrain gets, uh, you know, can certainly get interesting with respect to watching your projected range. Uh, this was something that took a little bit of getting used to uh, in the Roadster. Um, you know, sort of the the hills of Massachusetts, uh, you know, as you're driving on the highway, um, you might 
might start to freak out uh, that, that your, your energy usage is too high, or you, you know, your range is going down too much, but, uh, you know, if your, if your overall elevation change uh, isn't uh, significant, uh, then uh, that number tends to, you know, will tend to dial back in, you know, so we're now on a big downhill uh, slope, and, uh, and we're actually doing regen right now uh, down uh, the highway, so, um, the, you know, the, the, the averaging out and the combination of those two things Help, help sort of stabilize your range, but it but it but it might look funny on your uh, on your screen here. So good to good to get used to sort of practice that. Um, and anytime I drove down to uh, to New York, uh, I was dealing with plenty of hills, and you know the first 120 miles, uh, you know, felt like I, I burned through way more energy than uh, than I planned on. But uh, you know, as I as I you know, approached my destination, um, sort of did the math. It wasn't nearly as bad as it, as it was seeming to be, uh, simply because these numbers are are, are are adjusting rather significantly due to due to the, uh, the hill, hilly terrain. So you know, if I go back over here to uh, to energy, um, you, know, you can sort of see those peaks and valleys in the graph. I mean, and if you look at my five mile history, right, it's, it becomes very obvious. So I just pushed forward on the stock to cancel my cruise control. I put my foot onto the accelerator and pushed it down uh, a little bit uh, ahead of that um, in preparation for that because when you do cancel uh, cruise control you're, uh, you're you're going to relatively quickly but not nearly as abruptly as the roadster uh, go into full region uh, and slow down uh, perhaps uh, and probably most likely more than uh, you uh, than you would want to. So I'm averaging 314 uh, watt hours per mile, uh, and that's that's about right for uh, 60, 65 miles. Well, 65 miles an hour uh, uh, on 19 inch wheels um, should give you. A, a, I don't know exactly what it is. It's around. It's between 300 and 320 watt hours per mile. Um, so the fact that my that the average on the left here says 317 uh, is good. Uh, it, it means that I should be uh, reasonably close to my rated range, uh, even though my projected range is sort of disagreeing with that. Um, so that's that's a way to keep tabs on things, uh, although my projected right now isn't too far away from my rated. It says 209 instead of 222. There's a way to reset the trip meter uh, from anything other than the touch screen here. So. so since I reset the trip meter, you can see I've traveled 1.5 miles. Perhaps you can't see it. But, uh, 0.5 kilowatt hours of power used. My average energy usage is uh, now 347 watt hours per mile. Another another uh, good way to keep uh, keep tabs on your on your uh, energy usage. Really, only important if you're taking a you know a road trip or, or you're, you know you're not gonna get back to charging anytime soon. I do have the uh, the air conditioning. On if you couldn't tell, I've been adjusting the temperature here and there with the scroll wheel. Um, so that, that energy usage, uh, you know, clearly it's not hot outside, but I'm using it to keep the air dry and, and uh, it's, it's really well insulated in here. So if I were to shut it off, it would actually get too warm in here. So my trip 
meter A now says uh, 6.8, 2.3 kilowatt hours used and 333 watt hours per mile. Glut for, uh, for pain, for torture. Set this to day mode just to see how bad that is. That's pretty bright. The instrument cluster is not too bright, but the 17 inch touchscreen certainly is. For the camera, I, you know, if I lower it, it's going to look pretty bad. energy usage as I got off and the peak as I accelerated. Averaging 336 right now. The peak over there was about 600. So you can see that uh, even though I'm cruising along here at 70 miles an hour, put the air conditioning on you know a little bit, not not much. 21 inch wheels, which reduces your range a little bit. My rated range is 195, and my uh, projected right now is 186. I'm doing pretty well on my uh, watt hours per mile. So, uh, you know, from a how much range do you really get? You know, realistic range. You know, not, obviously not far off here. Um, you know, technically, if I were driving 65 miles an hour, 19-inch wheels, had the had the uh, air conditioning off, I should be getting my you know, exactly my rated range. So, I'm just a few percentage points behind that right now.